Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for mid-July 2020. This is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're starting off with an overall message from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. The decks that you see me use in my readings are available for purchase on my website, guidedangelcc.com. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, show me the messages for cancer, please. There is a link in the description box below <clears throat> that will take you to my website. There is also a bunch of other information in the description box that you may want to know about me. I was getting that one. Let's see what we got, cancer. Ta-da! Chop wood. So this is about taking care of your every everyday responsibilities. Um, I'm going to give an example. I, I don't even know if this example was in the book, but it's an example that's coming to me right now. Let's say that your garden needs weeding. And you keep putting it off and you keep putting it off, but it stays in your mind. So until you go and you take care of it, you're not going to be able to focus on other things because all day long while you're doing other activities, or maybe you're not even doing any activities, who knows, you just know that you need to go out and weed that garden. So I feel like there's something in your life that you need to take care of that's probably bothering you. Um, bills, piles of mail. They just showed me a pile of mail. Somebody needs to go through their mail. <laughs> okay, Cancer. Anyway, um, angels, divine spirits, and guides. I pulled your. I pulled your. Uh, I forgot about this. I pulled your astrology card. I've been pulling these before we start, so I could. Take a peek at the book, more or less, and just make sure that I'm delivering you the right message. And this is a really good card. Uh, Jupiter Returns. It is about expansion. I did take a couple notes on the card. It says, blessings, luck, good fortune. It is known as the Santa Claus planet. It is success. Doors will open and obstacles will be lifted. You have freedom to advance your goals. This is a time where you need to take advantage of this, like seize the moment kind of. Something that you've been working on is paying off or bearing fruit or you're going to get some type of a reward for it. It's basically prosperity in all areas of your life. You may receive gifts. You may meet multiple new people if you're single and they just say don't be impulsive or reckless but don't let these opportunities pass you by be optimistic investigate things and flirt with the possibilities of something don't think that something is too good to be true because Gemini just had the answer the opposite <laughs> if something's too good to something too good to be true it probably is and now you're getting this. So maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Let's pull some tarot out and see what we get from that. Angels, show me the messages for Cancer, please. For mid-July 2020, what is Cancer? Okay. Sun card making an appearance, but it's attached to a whole... Oh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. It's attached to a whole bunch of stuff. So I saw the Queen of Surge reverse there as well. Show me Cancer for a lot of money making you happy. <laughs> All right, Four of Wands, Sign of Aries. That's my separation card. Uh, that's someone who's moving out, someone who feels not supported by their family, Someone who is just changing homes 
it is my chaos card. There's just a lot going on. There's a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. People aren't getting along and I need to move on. I need to free myself from this situation and I start, I need to start working on myself, my goals, my things. King of Pentacles reverse Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That's my stubborn card. King of Cups reversed as well. Whoa. We could have a person here who is stubborn and doesn't want you to leave, possibly using emotional manipulation to try and get you to stay. Or this person could have moved away from you. Hmm. Let's get one more for cancer, please. Show me cancer. Mid-July 2020. What do they need to know, angels? Ten of swords. Sign of Gemini. Painful ending. Give me one second, guys. So, anyway. So I feel like something ended here. Ten of swords. Backstab. Betrayal. Nail in the coffin. It's over. The king of pentacles. I feel like this was the person that hurt you or you hurt because somebody moved out moved on didn't want to deal with this chaos anymore this could have caused a loss of income for someone bad investment why am i hearing bad investment this relationship was a bad investment this house was a bad investment someone having um home repairs someone wants to put an end to it show me one more the fool in reverse is one of two things in this case it's my i'm not taking a risk card it's something is too risky with the king of pentacles here being in reverse i feel like someone made a foolish decision or a bad investment in something the emperor Aries. We got double Aries here. Magician. A lot of masculine energy. I'm feeling a power struggle. So the Emperor is my husband plus father energy. You could have been married to this person. This person may have been controlling, demanding. You felt the need to get away from this person, possibly manifest something new with the magician or having all of the tools that you need to be on your own. I, I'm almost getting like this is conversation because with the king of pentacles being stubborn and the emperor is also a stubborn energy. Someone won't leave a relationship even after they've been stabbed in the back because they think that they won't be able to make it on their own, but they do have all the tools that they need. This is also manifesting something new. Show me cancer. I'm struggling a little bit with this one, cancer. What's going on? Cancer angels, please, more clarifying messages. Okay. The two of pentacles, no more juggling. Drop something, stop doing something. It's almost like these two masculine energies are talking about cutbacks healing sagittarius temperance bottom of the deck we have the strength card see this person doesn't have the strength to leave this is there's chaos here somebody is living in an environment that there's too much that needs to be done. There's too much on this person's mind, on this person's plate. Someone might even be working two jobs here to take care of their family or pay these home repairs. I feel like somebody's really struggling financially. And they need the strength to end something. Tower, shocking truth. No success, no victory, no attention. So you're not going to give something attention anymore. There's somebody here that you have chemistry with. 
This is my one foot on the land, one foot in the water. You're testing the waters about ending something and you're communicating possibly with another person about doing this, trying to figure out how to get out of this chaos. But with the King of Pentacles being stubborn and the Emperor being stubborn, somebody's not doing this here. And they need the strength to let this tower fall and cut something out with that ace of swords and get their new beginning let's pull some clarifiers and see who we can get some more messages angels please show me the messages for cancer what is cancer need to know show me the four of wands reversed please the sun card reversed so you're unhappy the future looks cloudy confusion somebody just doesn't want to somebody is like staying in a situation because of it being comfortable not happy but they're in a bad relationship and it's like they're like well you know I already know how so-and-so treats me and I already know how they act so I'm unhappy here I'm just gonna stay here because I don't want something to end. I don't want something to change. Show me the King of Pentacles in reverse. Show me the King of Pentacles. I'm also getting, yeah. I'm also getting a pro possibly an upset father that a child has moved away. So if someone is going through some type of a breakup or a divorce or something here, this father, this father might not be a good father to begin with if the four of wands is reversed. But something painfully ended here and somebody walked away. That's obvious. Another person was absolutely shocked. They never thought that this was going to happen. Didn't I say show me the king of pentacles? I'm putting that there. To the King of Pentacles, show me the Ten of Swords. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Show me the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Page of Swords. So you could have caught someone in a lie. But that's also someone who's not facing the truth. I'm getting like two energies here. Someone's unhappy. But they're stubborn and they're not walking away. They need to face the truth that something is over. Show me the Emperor for Cancer. Show me this Emperor in reverse. What is this about? This King of Pentacles and this Emperor could be the same person. Because when the King of Pentacles is in reverse, he he doesn't follow through. He's you know, not a good fuck. Oh, the emperor. <laughs> That's hilarious when that happens. So we have the emperor in the upright position. Aries energy. That could just represent you taking back your power, being strong, making this decision that needs to be made. Stop putting something on the back burner. Walk away because you're unhappy and take your power back from this person. Show me the Two of Pentacles reversed. Angels, please. Two of Pentacles reversed. Cancer. Thank you. Knight of Cups. An offer, an invitation, following your heart. A hermit. You had somebody else here. There's another person here who's trying to talk you into leaving a bad situation. I don't remember who's reading this came up in before, but I, I felt like someone was saying, here, here, come with me. Stop juggling. I don't feel like this is two men. Someone's going to stop juggling two men. 
They're saying two men. So this could be a family member. This could be a son, a father and a son. Got this son card again. I, I was getting this last week. Somebody is in deep thought here about going to be with this other person. They have an invitation to go somewhere where they'll be very successful. But they're not doing it. They're thinking about doing it. Somehow this person has to be strong and make this announcement. It's a conversation that's going to shock someone. Just like three people here. You could be the one that's in a bad relationship and you. this could even be your father is saying, here, come... You know, stop doing that. Drop that. It's too much chaos. You need to leave there. You're unhappy. You need to walk away. You need to face the truth that this is over. Give me one more card for temperance. Show me temperance. There's some things that need to be cleared up here first. Somebody's like, I, it's, I can't just walk away. I have to, maybe they have to take care of some mail or some bills. <laughs> I don't know why they're showing me this picture of a big pile of mail. But there's victory and success. Look at that combination, huh? Public recognition, reward. Somebody's, there, there's Jupiter. That's Jupiter right there. Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. You have the tools to... to be very successful. Be noticed. Get victory. Win this battle. But I feel like you need to walk away from something and let something be over. There's another person here that you have chemistry with. This person, I feel like this person's good. Emperor, um, Knight of Cups, Temperance card put you up on a pedestal, treat you like a queen or a king. I'm paying attention to that, guys. I think I've been doing better. I had a lot of comments about, I think it's hard for me because I'm a female and I always imagine myself, you know, being in this situation. So it's hard for me to read from a man's point of view. And I've been really trying to do that. So for you guys who are watching, please let me know if I'm doing a good enough job. I'm really working on it. I swear. I try and catch myself every time. <laughs> All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the death card. The death, the death. See, there's that communication that needs to take place. It's going to be an argument here. Somebody's going to be very upset that something is over. But I also feel like this person, I feel like there's one person who's in a bad relationship here. And I feel like there is an emperor. Whoever this may be, husband, boss, father, energy, who's telling you to leave the situation. Offering you love, assistance, maybe even a place to stay if you're moving out. Moving out because you're unhappy. It's over. It's over. Death card, ten of swords. But this is gorgeous. That's what you're headed towards if you let this happen. There's your Santa Claus. It's an angel too. Let's get some Lynn Ormans out. Uh, no, you know what I was doing? Let's do Romance Angels first. What's on the bottom of this deck? regeneration see this card isn't always about someone from your past coming back this is about this can also be about regenerating yourself somebody's like exhausted here from dealing with all this i don't know i feel like it's a bunch of family drama and it's it's almost like a reinvention like somebody needs to pay attention to the red flags Somebody needs to leave and start working on their self. And if you're afraid that you're not going to be able to take care of yourself, that's not what I'm saying. 
I'm seeing that you're going to be fine. Nine of Pentacles and the Magician. Attraction. See, there's something over here. Is this a new love coming in? So you could be in a relationship and someone may be trying to get you to leave your significant other because they see that you're unhappy and you'll be so much happier with them. Reconciliation. And let's get one more. Getting to know each other. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there's something new here. Something that you're attracted to. You might even be returning to a past love. A relationship that you thought was dead, thought was over. Could even be an ex-husband. You need to let go of this person so you can get back with this person because maybe they've changed. Maybe they've stopped being this emperor in reverse and now they're turning into this, you know, good person who's going to provide and be stable and good husband. Like somebody has grown up because we saw the full card in reverse. That person could have been childish and foolish and made some impulsive decisions in the past and now they've changed. You're getting noticed. <laughs> you're getting attention. You're getting recognition. You're getting rewards. You have chemistry with this person. You may forgive them for how they treated you in the past. Maybe they need the strength to leave a relationship and come be with you. Hmm. What was under death? Oh, the Three of Swords. Libra. Something that's very difficult for someone to say. Someone's planning on ending a relationship here. <laughs> the Star card. <laughs> wow. The Whip. All right, let's get one more. Knight of Wands, New Direction, Six of Cups, returning to the past. You're returning to someone from your past who's at a distance. That's moving on. The Ten of Swords making another appearance. You have the key to free yourself. So, hmm. It appears that we do have a past energy here. I feel like somebody was in a relationship. And they left that relationship because they were unhappy. They walked away. And then they went to be with somebody else. And they weren't so happy there either. Or they might have just been single. Focusing on their self because Nine of Pentacles is self-worth, value. And you spent some time alone. You decided you wanted to get away from this chaos. And then this person came back. And they're like, hey... Um, yeah, come here and be with me. I want to work on this with you now, Eight of Pentacles, and you have to free yourself from the relationship that you're currently in or the situation that you're currently in. This could even be an employer because the Emperor is my boss card and the Chop Wood is also a work card to me. So someone could be getting an offer of employment here. A good offer of employment if you left a company to because there was too much chaos or you were unhappy or whatever it was and you walked away you could be they could be calling you to come back and giving you like a management position or something Wow that's the um, that's also the luck card cancer you have something really good coming in but I really feel like there's something that you need to let go of. This whip is an argument. There's something here that's 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 something here that's going to happen with this tower. The star card in this deck is also about recognition, getting noticed. If it is representing a healing energy from the past, that could also be possible. See, this whip is whipping something into shape. To me, clean it up, sweep it up. This person from your past may want to clear the air with you and heal this relationship, but you gotta walk away from something. You gotta let go of something. But once you do that, that's what you get. 
success, victory, money, good fortune, Santa Claus. There's Santa Claus right there. Santa Claus. <laughs> Temperance, nine of pentacles, and the six of wands. Two-faced, night and day. So you may have been stabbed in the back by someone who was two-faced and now they've changed. That can represent an apology. I feel like you're going to forgive them, learn your lessons, and then something's starting over here, getting to know each other and reconciliation. I'm getting that stronger and stronger by the book. Breaking the rules. Someone broke the rules? All right. Show me. Oh my goodness, I just moved the whole thing. Show me the final messages for cancer, please. What does cancer need to know? For mid July 2020. Show cancer the message. They need to see. This person might be at a distance. Get more information. All right. Show me cancer. For mid-July. Thank you, angels. Within the next few months, abundance. You got it. You got you got something really big coming in for you. So this card did talk about an opportunity that is going to cross your path. And you need to be curious about the opportunity. You need to get more information. You need to investigate this opportunity. It could be an opportunity to heal or an opportunity to go somewhere, an invitation to move someplace else and put an end to something. You have the power to free yourself. It's time to go. It's time to end something and you have to have the strength to do it. Hmm, what was under there? Six of Wands reversed. See, you're not being you weren't being rewarded for your hard work and effort. You weren't being acknowledged. You weren't getting the attention that you deserved for all the hard work that you do, which is why you walked away. That could be what the situation that you're in currently. All right, Cancer, I am going to leave that there. You deserve love. You are lovable. It looks like you need to make a decision to move forward and your health is going to be better too. If you're having any health problems, if you're in a bad relationship, that can have an, a significant, a significant um, effect on your health. That could be why the strength card is here because someone could be losing their strength. They could be having the minor health things. Minor health is headaches, nausea, heartburn, pains in your back, you know, things like that, just because you're just not happy in your relationship. But I feel like something really good is coming in for you, Cancer. I love it. Jupiter returns. Pay attention. There should be an opportunity headed your way. And I feel like you should accept it. I'm going to leave that there, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.